thought you might like a coffee. Oh, thanks, Lillian. <sighs> Sundays haven't changed, have they? Sorry? Rubbish day for work. You can't get hold of anyone. <laughs> well, it is meant to be a day of rest. Yeah, I suppose so. Although, actually, I've been sort of working myself. Look! What, reading balls at your life? Now, isn't that a fabulous conversion mat? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is good. Now, I thought I could start collecting articles like that, put them in a folder or something, and then, when we're looking for ideas, we can use it for inspiration. Well, we normally just talk to the builder or the architect for more complicated stuff. Oh. Should I not bother, then? No, 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 I, yeah, I think it's a good idea. Do you? Yeah, 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 always worth having some suggestions ourselves, isn't it? Well, that's what I thought. I mean, I know we aren't going to be going for double-height halls and mezzanine lounges in the hillside houses, but, I mean, you never know for the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good thinking, Puss. <laughs> Glad you think so. You should find some spare folders in the filing cabinet. Oh, right. <sighs> Bottom drawer. You, you aren't going to work all day, are you? Um, you know, that day of rest? No, no, you're right. Tell you what, how do you fancy a round of golf? Today? Yeah, I'll ring the club, see if they can squeeze us in this afternoon. On a Sunday? Yeah, well, I may not be BL chairman anymore, but I've still got some clout at that place. Lee owes me a few favours for a start. <laughs> That'd be lovely. Or we could do something else if you want. No, 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 that, that, that's great. Um, look, I, I'll just snip to the shop and get us something for lunch first. Ooh, I hope you've got plenty of time, Jill. There's a proper queue in there. Is there? Oh, good. You what? I know it seems an odd thing to say, but it shows how people are supporting the place. Well, I suppose that's one way of looking at it. I mean, how often did you have to wait to get served before it became a community shop? Well, maybe for the post office on pension day? Mm -hmm. It shows people want to support it, Bert. It's exactly what we hoped. Oh. Is it your day today? Sorry? This team leader thing. Oh, no, I'm on tomorrow. It's Sabrina Thwaite today. Hello, Bo. Ah, oh, morning. Hello, Hi. Lillian. And how's Ambridge's very own Delia Smith? Oh, you haven't been watching Josh's video, have you? <laughs> I have, and I was very impressed. Uh, have you seen it, Bert? Yeah, David showed me on the computer at Brookfield. It was very good, Jill. Roll over, Nigella, that's what I say. Very inspiring. You tried out the recipe, did you? Uh, no, no, I wouldn't go that far, darling. Well, you know what these food programmes are like. They cook so you don't have to. <laughs> When's the next one, then? It was just meant to be a one-off. No, you're on a roll now. Well, you're not the first one to ask that. You should definitely do some more. Will's Nick was very enthusiastic. Oh, well, these young people, they've never learned how to cook properly, have they? There you are, Joe. It's your public duty. I did enjoy doing it, I must say. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get something quick and easy for lunch. Bye! Bye. Bye. Uh, have, uh, have you seen Ruth out and about? Today? Yeah, putting up posters for the Open Farm Sunday. Oh, well, I saw a poster down by the church. Oh, I expect she'll be asking for one to go up in the phone box as well. I imagine so. She'll be a busy day. Certainly was last year. If the Grundies don't hijack the visitors for their own event. I understand David said he'd have to charge them a fee this year if they wanted to be at Brookfield. Yeah, quite right too. It was like a market stall last year. Yes, I remember. It shouldn't be about money-making. It's about making people remember that food doesn't just arrive at the supermarket wrapped in plastic. Hmm. David doesn't seem too bothered about the grandest thing. He thinks there's room for both events. Hmm, good o. Mind you, he was in a good mood anyway because of the weather. Oh, yeah. He's got a good day for a bailing. Shame he's got to miss the Netherbourne match, but needs must. Are you umpiring? I am, yeah. But I'm coming back sharpish to help out with the A once young Ed goes off to do his milking. Mm. I've got to go to Brookfield later. Have you? To do the bees. As Ruth will be in the parlour, maybe I'll bring a flask out to you. Oh, no, that would be a very Christian gesture. <laughs> Smug 
patronising. <gasps> Calm down, Matt. You know, Jerry Morton always was a pompous ass. Hasn't changed, has he? Apparently not. You did hear what he said to me. No, I was trying to get out of that bunker. Fancy seeing you here, Matt, and in your own clothes, too. What on earth did he mean by that? Thought you'd be in an orange jumpsuit. Well, that's America, not here. Yeah, well... Huh. Just the same when he was on the BL board. He still is on the BL board. Oh, you know what I mean. Never had much of a grasp of reality. <sighs> Darling, just ignore him. He almost got a sand wedge round his ear off. That might have knocked some sense into him. But it wouldn't have helped your release under licence very much. <laughs> yeah, it would have made me feel better, though. Oh, darling, just put it out of your mind. Easier said than done. We're having a lovely afternoon. Yeah, we were, you mean. Don't let him spoil it. No, I won't. It's not worth it. Now, look, concentrate. You know how easy it is to get in the stream at this one. Don't worry. It'll take more than Jerry Moore on to put me off my game. Good. I'll tell you what. Oh, Matt, Matt, just take your shot. I'm going to show him. I'm going to show the whole backstabbing, mealy mouth lot of them. Those houses, that pub, just to start. Come on, Tiger, or that foursome will want to play through. Yeah, OK. Oh, nice and straight. Oh, do you think that... Uh, it's in the water. Oh, what would you like to do? I'll take a drop. There you are. Grant. Careful, Josh. Mum said you wanted to see me. Don't come too close. It's got a rather bad temper today. Oh, oh no. Is it in your hair? Get off. Don't annoy it, Josh. Let me. Ow. Oh, has it stung you? Ah. Oh, quickly. Let's get you into the house. It doesn't hurt too badly. That's because you scraped the sting out quickly. And if you've been stung, it's important to get well away because they release a scent that attracts other bees. Like an alarm? Sort of. You don't want to get stung again. Let's have a look at your finger then. No, it doesn't look too bad. Hold the ice on it. It brings the swelling down. OK. I know it's not much comfort, but the bee will be much worse off than you. When they sting you, they die, because they leave the sting behind. Good. I thought you might say that. There. How's that now? It's all right, Graham. You're being very brave. Um, I wanted to talk to you about our video. I've had so many people saying how good it was. Oh, yeah? And asking us about making another. Really? Yes. How would you feel about that? Yeah, awesome. You'd like to do one? I'm back to school tomorrow, but we could do it when I get home. Oh, not so fast, Josh. I'd need to decide what to cook and make sure I'd got all the ingredients. OK. I'll look through some of my recipes and have a think. Maybe we could aim for a couple of weeks' time. Don't go yet, bud. What? Mum's on her way with the flask. Oh, right, yeah. Time for a break. Grant. Uh, she said she might come out to us. <laughs> She's a wonder, isn't she? Yeah, very thoughtful. <sighs> now, I've been meaning to ask, Bert, about Farm Sunday. Yeah? Now, there's no pressure or anything. We understand you're a busy bloke, and if you can't do it, it's absolutely no problem. But we were wondering if you'd maybe like to be involved in some way. Oh. I mean... You'll probably need to take some time, you know, check your schedule, have a think about oh, it. Oh, I'd love to. You want to talk it over with Frida? Okay, me and David. Are you sure now? Absolutely. Oh, great. Thank you very much. Is there uh, anything special you wanted me to do? Well, well, you know the sort of things we had last year? You could you could help with any of those. Yeah. Or perhaps I could do a talk of some sort. Uh-huh. I've got a lifetime working on the land, after all. Ah. Huh. Well, something a bit, um... Historical, you mean? Yeah. That might be a good contrast to the other stuff. Well, let me have a think about it. Yeah, sure. <sighs> We've been trying to encourage the kids to get involved as well. Pip seemed quite interested on Friday, but uh, since then she's just had her head in her books. Oh, still doing exams? Yeah, two more to go. Chemistry tomorrow, and then mm. biology on Tuesday afternoon. Well, I suppose she needs to concentrate on them. Yeah, you're right. Hello, Mum. Hello, the workers. 
Hi, Bert. Ah, hello, young Josh. Ah, what have we got here? Just a few sandwiches, and I made some brownies. Oh, oh Mum, you're a marvel. Come for the tea, have you, Josh? No, I wanted to see how the hauling was going. But how are you out with the brownies? <laughs> <laughs> I did try to get Pip to come along, but she was too busy with her revision. Right. Well, thanks for taking an interest, Joshy. It's all right. You've been quite into the farm since you helped your mum with the milking, haven't you? Not just that. No, 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 no. You were brilliant with the lambing as well. Gran's been telling me about the bees. Oh, yeah? I'm afraid he was stung this afternoon. Oh. Mm. Could I help you out next time you do them? Really? Yeah, it looks interesting. Well, that would be very nice. We'd need to get you properly protected, though. You could use your mum's suit. Yeah, it'd be about the right size, wouldn't it? I think you probably would. Ah. Oh. Help yourselves, everyone. Oh, brilliant. Right. How was the cricket, Bert? Oh, Hambridge won by two wickets. Oh, well done. Looks like they didn't miss me, then. Well, I had a bit of a panic, though. I lost me marbles. Josh. You know, the ones I count the balls with in each over. Ah. I had to use coins instead. Lucky I had plenty in my... Oh. Right, Bert. Oh, a pocket full of memories. What? For your open day... How about I stuff my pockets with little bits of farming kit, then I can pull them out one by one and talk about them. That's a good idea. What sort of things, sir? Well, I, I, I've got an old gin trap knocking about. They haven't been used for years. Well, not legitimately, well, anyway. I can remember when it was made illegal. When was that? Oh, I must have been about 20, I suppose. Government gave them several years to be phased out. There was a lot of grumbling from keepers and the like. Well, that's an interesting story in itself. What about something more modern? Electronic ear tags? Mm. Mm. Good thinking, Josh. Um, tagging shears? Mm. Yeah. Teak cup? What about those tubes you feed lambs Yeah, with? colostrum mm. tubes. Yeah. Mm. I think this could work really well. It's just one thing, though. Well, well for a decent length talk, you're going to need a lot of stuff. Where are you going to find an outfit big enough to hold it all, Bert? <laughs> <laughs>That's uh, two pounds, and three makes five. Thanks. Uh, tell your mother I'm sorry for the delay. I will. Mm. Put all the blame on me. She will anyway, so you might as well. Isn't the till working? No, it's working perfectly. Oh, so why are you... I'm afraid Sabrina had a little difficulty cashing up last night. Oh, typical. So she asked me if I'd come in first thing and do it for her. Well, where is she then? Oh... Uh, Something called a seaweed wrap was mentioned. That woman shouldn't be put in charge of a tricycle, let alone a till. So we've set up a temporary cash box while we get yesterday's takings under control. But what about the stuff you've sold? How are you keeping track? We're jotting it down. Which reminds me, oh, bicarbonate of soda, one, twelve. We thought of that. We're going to scan duplicates through once we've got it sorted out. Oh, dear. Notes. Janine, £4.79. Uh, the volunteers put in what they had so that uh, we at least had some change to start with. Oh, I'm meant to be on my way to a food hygiene course. Uh, are you familiar with the principle of the non sequitur? What? I mean, what does your course have to do with this little local difficulty? Oh, this is going to take ages to sort out. But it needn't concern you. We do have it under control. Good morning. Morning, Susan. Good morning. You wouldn't believe what's happened, Jill. I would, actually. Jim <sighs> called me to explain. Jill's today's team leader. 
I'm not entirely sure why Sabrina called you instead of me. Mm, I am. She's used to fluttering her eyelashes and having men run round after her. Susan, I rather object to the suggestion that I'm susceptible to that sort of sexual manipulation. I do live next door, after all. Well, Jill's only down the road. Anyway, as you can see, we are well staffed to get this in order. So if you'd like to select your purchases... Oh, no, 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 I'm not going to make it any worse. I'll get my lunch in town. Probably a good idea. But I said from the start, didn't I? This was bound to happen if you give people like Sabrina Thwaite positions of authority. Uh, your point is well made. Uh, I hope you managed to sort it out. It can't go on like this. Well, give my regards to the Campylobacter. Ah, Brian. Jerry, I'm so sorry. I don't have a set to follow the sound of bleating. I thought I'd help Adam grade the first lot of lambs for the abattoir. I lost track of time. Uh, just give me a few minutes to get cleaned up and into a suit. Oh, it's no problem. Uh, well, I hope we're going to get a decent lunch out of these guys. Well, they do want our business, Jerry. Mm. Now, I remember when a proper business lunch took most of the afternoon. <laughs> Alcyon days. You want anything to do with this open farm Sunday thing? Oh, only very loosely. The village is full of posters about it. Well, that'll be Jenny's cousin. Oh. David Archer, Brookfield Farm. We shoot over their land. Oh, yes. He's on the parish council, isn't he? Yeah, that's the chap, yeah. Well, they're going for it in a big way. We're just lending them our big combine for the great unwashed gore pad. Steady, Brian. Sorry, sorry. To help bring about a greater understanding of agriculture amongst our revered consumers and taxpayers. <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> well, it sounds admirable. How's it going? That's well, pretty good. Uh, it's mainly decorating now, but we've, uh, we've just had the bar stools arrive. Oh, well, can you put them all in the centre so we can work round them? Thanks. Kenton, I know you're busy, yeah. and I'm sorry to ask. But I wonder if you might be able to do me a favour. Uh, sure, Mum. What is it? We had a bit of a problem at the shop this morning. And while I was out, the delivery people arrived with Nigel's presents. Uh-huh. They've left a card saying I need to collect it from the depot. And it closes at 12.30. Okay, well, where is it? On the trading estate, Denver right. Road. Uh-huh. It's just with his birthday being tomorrow. Um, and you're uh, the nearest. You know, no, no, sure. Um, I expect I could, uh, well, I could pop around there in 20 minutes or so. Could. I'd be very grateful. Yeah, well, no problem. You'll have to quote the reference number. Mm. It's... Oh, hold on, hold on, Mum. Let me get a pen. 837 mm -hmm. 175. One, seven, 175, okay, yep. I'll ring them to say someone else is collecting it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, while, while you're on, Mum, have you had an email from Mariel? Uh, I might have. Well, she said she'd sent you one a week ago, uh, but she hasn't heard anything back. I'm afraid I haven't really been keeping up with the email since your father died. Oh, well, if you need any help with it, oh, no. I'm happy... it's fine. Oh, right. I just need to set time aside to work through the messages, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she'd love to hear from you. That's nice. Mm. Oh, look, Mum, I must go. Jim's here. All right, and you won't forget, will you? 12.30, don't worry. Thank you, darling. Bye. Bye. Well, this is looking... Yeah, I know, I know, a bit chaotic at the moment, but it is organised chaos, I can assure you. Are these our bar stools? Yep. They're very modern, aren't they? Yeah, they're pretty stylish, eh? We'll, uh, we'll keep the plastic on them until the painters are finished. Very wise. Uh, I'm sorry I'm a little later than intended. Trouble at the shop. Oh, you too? Sorry? Well, Mum's just rung me. Uh, yes, a, a little excitement created by Sabrina Thwaite. Oh. Jogging again, was she? <laughs> oh, not that sort of excitement, I'm afraid. Mm. Yeah. Oh, anyway, what do you think? There does seem an awful lot still to do. Well, oh, it's all under control. But um, <clears throat> you you could help me a little bit, actually. Yes. Yeah. Uh, could you collect something from the trading estate? And there on that tricky dogleg sixth was none other than Matt Crawford. Looking like he owned the course. Him and Lillian. Oh, yes. No sign of this tag he's meant to be wearing. Well, it's on his ankle, I think. So, so I mean, did you say hello? Oh, exchanged a few words. And... I'm not sure it's good for my reputation, though, being seen with criminals. Not ones that have been caught, anyway. <laughs> no. So, are we going to take a look at this pub? 
Well, the old Marquis of Granby here, if you're interested, Jerry. Why not? I, mean, I certainly think it's worth looking at for its development potential. Right, well, let's swing by there on the way back. We're not the only ones considering it, I'm afraid. We can hardly keep a property like that a secret, Rob. Yeah, but a little bird tells me that vinings are sniffing around. Oh, well. And another outfit I, I haven't heard of, Amside Property Holdings. Amside? Yeah, does it mean anything to you? Oh, I can't say it does. Oh, well, maybe I'll do some digging, see what I can find out. Good idea. Oh, hello. Susan, hello. Oh, um, I don't think we've met. Uh, no, no, this is a colleague of mine from Borchester Land, Jerry Morton. Oh, hello. Susan is the mainstay of our oh, village shop. Only part-time now. I've just started in food processing. Really? Organic dairy products. Right. I'm doing a course today. Food hygiene. Are you now? Of well, course, I know a lot of it already. I mean, you can't run a food shop and not. No. But there's some really interesting stuff. Did you know you shouldn't call it food poisoning because that's toxins and it's actually mainly caused by bacteria and viruses and that. Well, you we just had our lunch. So... Foodborne illness and there's this danger zone. Well, and before we... we get there, Susan, I'm afraid you'll have to excuse us. We have an appointment. Oh. Yes, we mustn't keep the Marquis waiting. Oh, goodness. Well, if you're meeting royalty, better let you get on then. Come through, Daniel. Thank you for coming round so quickly. That's all right. Here's the computer. I'm afraid I've forgotten how to turn it on. It's this button here. Oh, yes, that button. It just looks like a piece of decoration. <laughs> and you need to switch the monitor on here. Oh, do you want to sit down? OK. I can work the email, you understand. It's just that your granddad always used to set it up for me. Sure. And I know that Mariel sent me an email, but I haven't been able to get at it. No problem. Has she seen your cooking video yet, Gran? I don't know. I wouldn't know how to email it to her. It's on the village website, isn't it? Yes. You just need to send the link. Oh. That's easy. I can show you how to do it. I would love to send her the photos of Grandad that I took at Christmas. Do you remember? When we were all round at your house and you fell asleep with that <laughs> party remember. hat on. <laughs> Are they still on your camera? Yes. Well, we can do that too. It's a bit more complicated, but you'll get it all right. If you're sure. Here we are. Just as well he didn't use a password. Oh. So, to get to the email, click on this icon, and that takes you to the inbox. Oh, yes, I recognise that. Goodness. What? There's such a lot of them. And spam, mainly. Spam? You know, ads for... <laughs> for things you probably don't want. If you click here, that puts them in alphabetical order. And then, those are the ones from Merrill, and that's the latest one. You'll have to show me slower. OK. But do you want to read that one? All right. Oh, she's saying thank you for her birthday present. And if you tell me where your camera is, I'll show you what to do with the photos. So, Jerry, I looked into Amside Property Holdings. Oh, yeah. And guess where its registered office is? The Dower House Ambridge. So that's... Matt. Although his name's nowhere near the company. Well, it couldn't be, could it? I mean, he's bad. But it's obviously his new vehicle, with Lillian as the front. She let slip they were planning something a couple of weeks back. Cheeky blighter. I mean, he's only been out of jail five minutes. Right, and he's already getting in our way. Yeah. I've asked Sandra to put in an offer on the pub anyway. Right. Well, it makes it more interesting, I suppose. I'll be intrigued to see what happens. Well, I'll keep you informed. Thank you for collecting it, Kenton. Oh, God, it was really no trouble at all, Mum. I hope Nigel likes it. Oh, I'm sure he will. And if he doesn't, he's far too well-mannered to say. Yes. <laughs> now, do you want me to give you a hand with your email? Oh, there's no need. Oh, no, there's no bother. No, I've done it. Oh, have you? As I said, I just needed to get down to it. Ah, right. In fact, I sent Mariel a couple of photos of your father, too. Oh, really? Well... It only takes a few minutes with modern technology, doesn't it? <laughs> right. Hey, way to go, Mum. I'm very impressed. Oh, hi, Mum. Father, are you... Um... 
need to hock. Yeah, I'm just bottling up. Are you all right? Yeah. No. No, I'm... Um, <laughs> something terrible's happened, love. It's... It's Sid. He's dead. I wish people wouldn't move things. I haven't moved them. Yeah, well, where are they, then? They're your keys. Where did you put them when you came in last night? The painters will already be there. They're perfectly competent, aren't they, these people? Yes. Well, surely they don't need you watching every brush stroke. Uh, um, can you get that? Yes, it's all right. Probably some double glazing salesman. He went off for a jog before dinner. It's all right, Mum. You were gone such a long time. We had to go looking for him. We thought he might have got lost or something. <laughs> but then he was... And there were all these people around. Someone had sent for an ambulance. And they tried to find him. I tried, but, but it were no good. Oh, Mum. <laughs> He's dead, Fallon. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> uh, OK, Lucy. You take care. Thank you. Oh, um... I, I can't believe it. Well, what do they think it was? A heart attack. Right. Oh, oh. Um, oh Jamie, we'll have to go to his school. Yeah, well, you'd better ring them. Um. Look, okay, I'll call the decorators. Say I'll be late in, and we'll we'll go and tell Jamie together. Thanks, Harry. I put one sugar in anyway. My mum always thinks it helps. Thanks. It all seems so unreal, you know? Mm. You and Sid were close. He was more of a dad to me than my real dad. For a long time, anyway. That's tough. He was a good bloke. Mm. But his mum, though, hearing her like that, it was awful. <laughs> When my gran died, that was the worst thing for me, seeing my mum so upset. Oh. What's the time? Uh, it's ten to ten. Oh, I've got to open up in a minute. Oh, do you have to, Fallon? Could you just put a sign up, you know, closed due to a family bereavement? No, no, I've got to. It, it's Sid's pub. They left me in charge. Yeah, yeah, OK, I, I understand, but... Look, I don't think you're in much of a state to serve customers, are you? Well, but Look, you've I... had a terrible shock. I, I can open up and serve coffees and stuff. Oh, no. I... Is there someone else who can help out? Someone who knows the ropes a bit? Um... Clary? No, she'll be at work. She works in a dairy daytimes at Bridge Farm. Well, um, what about... Uh, who's that new girl? Nick. Hmm. No, she's on at 12 anyway, and I don't want to leave her on her own. Is there anyone else? Well, we ought to tell Lillian. She's, like, the part owner. Mm. I'll ring her, shall I? What is it? Oh, uh, I'm so sorry, darling. I'm, I'm afraid we... We've got some bad news for you. It's Dad, isn't it? Has he had an accident? No, he's... Oh, oh, Jamie. Mum? Oh, I'm so sorry. Mum? He, he's... Uh... It, it, it is your, your dad, I'm afraid. I'm, I'm so sorry, but it... It looks like he had a heart attack. He's gone, Jamie. Mum? No. no. I'm so I'm so sorry, mate. Oh, Jane, no. It can't be. It's true. I 
I'm so, so sorry. One fifty-five change. Your food shouldn't be too long, Neville. He looked a bit stunned. I do hate being the bearer of bad tidings. Mm. You've got to tell people, though, haven't you? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Now, um, did Lillian and Nick need a hand in the ploughman's? No, it's all right, Caroline. We found a new optic in the cupboard and I managed to fit it up. Oh, good. Lillian was saying she was at your hotel when I rang her. Yeah, yeah, at the health club. I felt I had to come down. It's good of you to help out a competitor. Oh, I don't really see the ball as a competitor. Different markets? No, not just that. I used to be a partner here. Oh. Mm. I sold out to Lillian, in fact. Oh, that makes a difference then. And when I first came to Ambridge, it was Sid who gave me a job. Behind this bar, as it happened. And when was this? Oh, long time ago. In the 70s. You must have been very young. <laughs> Flatterer. But yes, 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 I was. <laughs> and then you, you went into partnership with him? Oh, no, that was much later. Was he, you know, funny about it because he'd been your boss when you were young? Not at all. Sid wasn't like that. So you knew him really well, then? Mm. Yeah, he's been a part of my life for a long time. Mm. I'm going to miss him. Is there anything that I can do? Oh, Fallon. You needn't bother yourself. Look, we've got it all under control. You should go and lie down. Oh, th that's what I have been doing, but I'm... You know, I'm just lying there. Well, that's fine. I feel I need to do something. I'm... Wash some glasses, or, well, maybe not serving. Uh, no, no, I should think not. I'm not sure I'm up to, you know, having to tell people. <laughs> you don't want to put yourself through that. But I can't just lie there doing nothing all day. Um, well, um, if you want to do something behind the scenes, I expect Frida could use some help in the kitchen. There you are. I'm not really hungry. No, I know, but you need to get something inside you. And you too, Cathy. Yeah, I'm um, in a minute. What lovely weather. Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> Jamie, mate, this is an awful thing that's happened to you. You know that I lost my own dad not long ago. And even though he was older than Sid, it was still unexpected. So, you know, I know how, how lost you feel right now. But we're all here for you, mate. And you will come out the other side. Trust me. Okay. Good lad. Come on then, tuck in. Yeah. You should try and eat something, love. All right. I'm going to have to go in in a bit. Go in? Mm, to Jack's. We've got crockery and glassware coming in and I need to sign for it. But, um, can't Jim do it? Well, not really. It's not his job. Well, I'm sure he wouldn't mind, given the circumstances. Uh, well, I suppose I could ask Frank to pop in, if he's free. I'd much prefer that. OK, well, I'll give him a ring after we've eaten. Thanks. So, an afternoon altogether. What should we do, then? You fancy a bit of a kick around, Jamie? Not really. No, I understand. Well, if there is anything you'd like to do, just say. OK. Oh, and I'll cook supper tonight. Or better still, she have something delivered. What do you reckon, mate? Chinese? If you like. OK. That's what we'll do, then. It sounds packed out there. Oh, it's heaving. Everyone seems to have heard. It's amazing how word gets around this place. I've heard some wonderful tales about Sid. Could you pass me a dessert plate? Yeah. Most of the cricket team came down after nets. They seem stuck in for the night. Thanks. Oh, um, Alan said if you need to talk or if there's anything he can do... That's nice. Just call or pop round. Yeah. You're doing really well, you know. Am I? Mm. I do admire you. Well... Um, have you heard from your mum again? No. I thought... Well, it's morning there now, so I thought I'd give her a ring. Right, good idea. Right, I'll take this through. And then you ought to think about having a rest. Yeah, thanks. Hello. Hello, Mum. How are you? Oh, all right. I 
didn't wake you, did I? No. No, I haven't done much sleeping, to be honest. No. None of us has, I don't think. Has there... Do you know what's happening yet? Uh, just that there's got to be a... to be a post-mortem. After that, I ain't got a clue. I'm so shattered. Anyway, how are you? Oh, I'm doing fine. Yeah? Everyone's being wonderful here. Lillian's been helping, and even Caroline. Caroline? Yes, yeah, she's been here all day. Oh, that's nice. So don't you worry about me. Okay, good. Poor Lucy's in such a state. I feel so sorry for her. And she's pregnant as well. Oh, Mum. <laughs> I wish I could be there. I know. I wish you could be too. But at least I know the pub's in safe hands. Sid would have wanted that. No, it's all going fine here. Don't you worry. Good. There's no one else to say, really. I'm sorry. No, don't be silly. <laughs> Shall I give you a ring later, like in the morning, our time? Yeah. You ring any time you like, love. And you, I'll keep my phone on. Okay. I love you, Mum. I love you too. Night, night. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Just about finished. Oh, Fallon. Fallon. Come here. Come here. It's all right. It's not fair. Poor mum. Oh, we're going to miss him so much. I got you one anyway. Oh, Jude, I really don't want another drink. Come on, they'll be shutting the bar any minute. Then you'll be sorry. Take it. Oh, all right. Get it down, ya. You need a bit of livening up. I thought this was meant to be an end of exams party. It is. All your mates seem to be happy they're over. I'm happy they're over. <laughs> Especially Zoe. <laughs> that bloke with the vest can't believe his luck. Don't know what <laughs> Brett's going to say about it. Well, that's her business. I thought at last your exams are over, no more boring revision. We go out and have a great time and look at you. I'm sorry, I just... I can't stop thinking about that business studies paper. So you missed one paper. It's not the end of the world. And it made me mess the up. The biology. I know. I've heard it a million times. It makes me pleased I've got a holiday to look forward to. Where were you saying about? Valencia. You can get a ferry to Ibiza from there. Yeah? Yeah, we should go there, Fizz. It's great. I'd love to. I've been there dozens of times. Right. It's the most beautiful island. I've heard the clubs are expensive. Yeah, there's only one Ibiza, though. Have to put in a lot of hours. <laughs> yeah. Dancing till the sun comes up, then sleep by the pool and start all over again. Wicked. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Looks like Brett's seen Best Boy in action. It's too early for him to go back. I want to. <laughs> Jamie, love, you, you've you had a terrible shock. Tell him, Kenton. Well, you know, if he wants to go in... It's bad enough yesterday. Being pulled out of class. Everyone looking and whispering. No, no. If he stays at home, someone will have to look after him. Um, don't you want the rest of that, mate? No, thanks. OK, well, yeah, just leave it. And I can't today. I've, I've got to get into work in a minute. Yeah? Catch up on yesterday. Well, I'll be here. Will you? Well, yeah, I'm taking the day off. Oh, OK. I just want it to be normal. I don't want any fuss. Yeah, yeah you know what kids are like. <laughs> Everyone will understand. The teachers will. It's your classmates, isn't it, Jamie? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get it. So if you're going in, can you give me a lift? Yeah, yeah, of course I can. Is that all right, Mum? Rather than get the bus? Well, I suppose so. Good. That's sorted. Mm. Oh, sorry, Fizz. Didn't mean to wake you up. I couldn't see my trainers. 
No, there they are. <coughs> you can let yourself out, can't you? Oh, there's no milk, by the way. Are you going out? Yeah. When will you be back? Oh, no idea. I thought we'd be hanging out today. Well, sorry, things to do. Well, can't I come and do them with you? No, I'm going over to Marco's to play Call of Duty. You could do that any time. No, six of us are getting together. We've been trying to arrange it for ages. You didn't say anything last night. Didn't I? Soz. So, what about tomorrow? Um, well, I'm not sure I'm fixed. It's all a bit busy at the moment. OK. Well, I've got college anyway. Yes, don't want to let that slip. We're starting on our A2 work now. Mm. And there's plenty to do back home. The post has arrived. Oh, I didn't hear. Look, do you want me to open them? Uh, no, it's all right. If you want to take them to the office, I can hold the fort here. Yeah, I might do. There's only a few coffee drinkers this time of day, isn't it? Mm. How on earth have people managed that? What do you mean? Getting sympathy cards in the post so quickly. <sighs> These aren't sympathy cards. Look. It's addressed to Sid. It's his birthday today. Oh, no. He would have been 66. Oh, how awful for you. There must be loads of people who haven't heard yet. Outside the village. I ought to let them know, but the trouble is I don't know who they are. And I don't want to bother Mum about it. She's got enough to cope with with the post-mortem and bringing his body oh, back. Fanon, and Fanon, uh, calm down. Hello. Sorry, uh, is it inconvenient? No. No, not at all, Ruth. We're open as usual. Well, I'm not here as a customer, actually. Mm. These are for you, Fallon. Oh, they're lovely, thank you. Just from the shop, I'm afraid. No, no, it's a really nice thought. It must be so hard for you, with your mum in New Zealand and having to cope with the pub. Everyone's been brilliant. What with Lillian and Harry. Caroline was here practically all day. Yeah, David was surprised to see her behind the bar. She did very well, though, he said. <laughs> yes, she hasn't lost the knack. <laughs> we were better staff than on a normal night. Matt even lent a hand. Matt? <laughs> he came down with me at lunchtime. Cleared some glasses. Oh, that was nice. Well, we didn't really need him with everyone else helping out. I appreciated the thought. I told him not to bother today. He's got lots of things he needs to get on with. He's mm. at home, you know. Well, from what I heard, you probably needed a few extra staff, didn't you? <laughs> David said the place was heaving. <laughs> it was. It's like New Year's Eve. Oh, Sid's been such a mainstay of the village for so long. I expect his funeral will be as packed as Phil's was. Oh, wow. Uh, sorry. I didn't mean that to sound... No, 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 that's all right. I'm, I'm sure it will. It's probably too early to ask about arrangements. Yeah, I, I don't know what the plans are yet. I need to talk to Mum about it. It's all a bit complicated, what with it happening overseas. Yeah. But, uh, at least Lucy got to see him one last time. And her husband's been wonderful too, apparently. Oh, that's good. Well, look, if there's anything we can do, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks, I will. I'd better get on. I'll see you soon. Thanks for the flowers. You're welcome. People always say that, don't they? If there's anything I can do. Mm. And the one thing you really want more than anything else, no one can do. Yeah. Oh, hark at me. I'm not helping, am I? No, don't worry. Well, that's another thing, isn't it? What? Well, once the funeral's arranged, I'm going to have to tell everyone about it. Well, I don't know who Sid knew. It must be hundreds of people, what with his, his pub trade mates and his cricket contacts. Look, don't and... get yourself in a state about it. You'll you just have to wait for developments over there, and once your mum knows where she is with things, then I'll help. Oh, thank you. It's all so new to me, this. Well, I've been through it with two husbands, I'm afraid. But we can sort it all out together. I'm really grateful. You're very welcome, Fallon. And don't worry about letting people know. The news is out around the village. Everything else can wait. Well, I'm sure that it wasn't that colour on the designer's sketches. Look, um, can I call you back? OK, thanks. Hi, Cathy. Jamie shouldn't have gone in. Why? The school's just called. He started crying in the middle of a lesson and had to be taken out. 
They want me to pick him up. Oh, poor kid. You should have made him stay at home. It, well, he was fine when I dropped him off. He can't have been fine. Well, a bit quiet, perhaps, but we couldn't have known that this was going to happen. It was too early. I said so. Look... Obviously, I feel for him, but he said that he wanted to be as normal as possible, and we had to respect that. He's only young, Kenton. Yes, and he's easily influenced. Perhaps he's picking up stuff from you. What does that mean? <sighs> nothing, nothing. Uh, so, what, are you leaving now? Yes. Okay, well, when you get there, give him a big hug from me, yeah? And tell him that I'm thinking of him. Dad's getting ahead of himself. He thought if he got the machinery into position, it'd be one less thing to do at the weekend. But it's not like we need the forage harvester at the moment. No, I suppose not. Oh, that drill. I'm trying to do the same. I don't see you moving machinery around. No, I mean trying to get ahead. While Eddie's doing the milking, I'm going to dust off the display boards we used last year. You know, the photos showing a year on the farm. Did we keep those? Yeah. Where are they? At the back of the machinery shed. Oh, I didn't realise. So, what else are we going to have out here? A sprayer, the big tractor. Oh, and that old hay rake your dad keeps meaning to get shot of. <laughs> that old thing. We thought it'd be good to contrast it with the modern stuff. Uh, that's what Josh is making all those labels for. Yep. Oh, did you see him inside? He was on the computer printing stuff out. How does he seem to you? All right. It was obviously a shock about Jamie's dad, though. Oh, it was a shock for us all. But his best friend. Yeah. Well, hopefully having lots to do for the open day will help him keep his mind off him. He did have this great idea, actually. What, Josh? He thought we could ask people to guess how much each bit of kit would cost to buy new and have a little prize for the closest to the correct total. <laughs> and Bert's doing something, Dad said. Well, he's going to give a talk using sort of um, farming props... You know, pull something out of his pocket and explain how we use it. <laughs> He'll be good at that. He's been rummaging around looking for suitable things. Mm, so if a cluster goes missing from the parley, you'll know who to blame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Mum, I've been thinking about what I could do. For Open Farm Sunday? I thought you were too busy. Well, now that I've got my exams out of the way, I've been looking through the handbook. Well, good for you. I thought... Any kids that come on the farm, walks, I could help them make map sticks. Map sticks? It's like this stick about half a metre long with bits of string on and everywhere you go, you tie on something that reminds you of where you've been. <laughs> what an unusual idea. <laughs> Native American. <sighs> then you end up with a permanent record of the journey. And you'd like to do that on the day? Yeah, why not? You can spare the time, can you? I mean, from Jude. Yeah, I mean, it's a family thing, isn't it? We should all pull our weight. What can I get you, Kenton? Uh, shires, please. Pint? Uh, no, no, better make it a half. Just a cookie on my way home. Okay. I'll get it. Half a shires? Yeah, please, Lillian. Oh, wow, that's an amazing bouquet. <laughs> Isn't it? Jazza brought it round. Yeah, Jazza did? Oh, well, he's learned a thing or two. Hmm. Yeah, he's only just left. Mm. You didn't get those from the garage on the bypass? <laughs> no, they're from Bells in Borchester. Ooh, no expense spared, then. Hmm, makes me feel a bit bad I didn't bring something. Oh, don't you worry. Ruth brought some round earlier. No, not like that, I bet. Well, you said not to get the wrong idea. It was just a friendly gesture to a mate. He was just being thoughtful. Oh, Are what? you all right? Oh, yeah, um, yeah. i better go and put these in water. All right, darling. Now, take your time. It's all under control here. Thanks. I'll see you, Kenton. Yeah, bye. Mm. How's she doing? Amazingly. If it was me, I'd have put up the shutters for a week. Hmm, uh, that's the line Cathy seems to be taking. Sorry? Oh, she's just you know, she's wallowing a bit, I guess. She's taking it badly, then? Oh, very. Well, she was married to the guy, Kenton. Yeah, sure, but yeah, I mean, it wasn't the happiest of marriages, was it? Well, it had its ups and downs, certainly. Mind you, what marriage doesn't? Oh. And it ended ten years ago. But the way she's behaving, you'd think she'd... Well, well, it can't be good for Jamie. That's all I'm saying. Lillian! Pushka! Upstairs! Oh, damn, where's it gone? Lillian! I'm up 
here, in the bedroom. It's a lovely morning. The garden's looking great. I've just dropped my earring. There you are. You going somewhere? Only taking Mum to the laurels. Can you see it? What's it look like? <sighs> like the one in this ear. Uh, ear? You're not wearing your glasses, are you? They make me look old, darling. Yeah, that really bothers the wardrobe. I think it went over there somewhere. Yeah, it's here. There. Oh, thanks, darling. So, guess what? <sighs> Surprise me. Rossiters have just rung. About Hillside? They've accepted our offer <gasps> on those two houses. Oh, Matt, that's wonderful. Yeah, I think we'd be cracking open a special bottle tonight. <laughs> Unless you're at the pub again. No, 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 not tonight. Caroline was available, so she said she'd do a turn, keep an eye on Fallon. Great. Oh, you must be delighted. Yeah, I know it's a small start, but this is where the fight back begins, Lillian. <laughs> this is going to lead to big things again. And we should hear about the pub soon, shouldn't we? Yeah. Once that comes through, we'll be well on our way. I'd only popped in to get something to take into town for lunch because it was the day I was doing my course. And it was absolute chaos. Oh, no. All that morning's takings in a little box, all these notes saying who was owed what and Jim trying to cash up from the night before. And then Jill Archer turned up too. Why was that? Well, she was that day's team leader. It don't look like Sabrina's up to the job, do it? Yeah. Still, you got to your course, did you? Oh, yeah, yeah, that was great. Really made me feel ready to work here. Oh, good. OK, well, let's get cracking. Mm -hmm. um, now, I told you about this last week, so it should be all straightforward. Yeah, OK. I've been through my notes, but I'm going to try and remember. So we've put the milk in the tank here, mm -hmm. and we need to add skim milk powder and sugar, remember? So it's, um... Um, uh, 1,400 grams? <laughs> That's it, yeah. Oh. Go on, then. What? 1,400 grams of the powder. Oh, oh OK. Ooh. There. Maybe. Oh, did I tell you that Joe has roped Vicky Tucker into one of his schemes again? No. You know, we're doing this open farm Sunday thing in our field. Well, he's decided he's going to make some corn dollies to sell. Country crafts, he calls it. 1,400 there. Yeah. That's, that's, of course, because we're using skimmed milk. Mm -hmm. If it was whole milk, it would be half that amount, 700. 700, right. Oh, is that a bit over? We'll just scoop a bit back into the sack. OK. This time she's made him agree a cut in advance. Yeah, that's right now. So pour it in then. <sighs> you know, don't be shy, just tip it in. Mm, OK. That's it. And it's the sugar now, so mm. that is how much? Oh, um, 700? No, 300. Oh. Uh, 700 is the amount of powder that we don't oh, use. yeah, of course. She's <laughs> wise to him now, of course, after that business with them kissing bad things at Christmas. Yeah, 300 grams. Good to say she's doing a really nice job of them. Only trouble is Joe and quite so careful. Mm. So I can see people who want to buy hers rather than his, if they're side by side. Uh, right, and now this goes into the milk as well? Yeah, just chuck it in. OK. That's it. Now, this has all got to dissolve into the milk. Mm. So it's been preheated to 50 degrees and we have to mix it up with this thing. Oh. There you go. So just stick it in and press the on button. Oh, uh... oh no, not oh, yet. Oh, no, sorry. wait till you put it oh, in. Sorry. No, 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 no problem. They're up the field now, Joe and Eddie, having a bit of a tidy up. Mm. I said this is meant to be a farm open day, not a visit to Steptoe's yard. Oh, yeah. So once this is all mixed, it goes through the homogeniser, which is that thing, remember? Yeah, OK. Oh, but before it goes through, you've got to raise the temperature of the mixture to 55 and set the homogeniser to 2,000 over 500. And It's no use, Susan. I just can't stop thinking about Sid. Jack wasn't very responsive today, was he? No. He's often that way. I don't mind. Well, at least he wasn't upset about anything. I'd rather him quiet than getting distressed. Mm, it's nicer for you. A couple of times, I nearly told him about Sid. I, uh, I had a feeling that was on your mind. I've thought of little Elsie's last couple of days, Lillian. 
I did wonder if I should have volunteered to help out at the ball. Oh, no, Mum. Well, Fallon and I made a good team before. Ah, I know, of course you did, but that was years ago. Now, Caroline and I have got it covered, and everyone's mucking in. You really don't need to worry about it. Jack thought very highly of Sid. And the other way round, too. If it hadn't been for the leg up Jack gave him in the 60s, Sid could have gone down a very different route. He took a real pleasure in the success Sid made of his life. <laughs> I may have given him the opportunity, he used to say, but Sid grasped it with both hands. <laughs> they were quite similar, weren't they? In background, certainly. I think Jack liked having another brummy in the village, someone to reminisce about Sturchley with. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not sure it would be a good idea to tell Jack. No. Does he even remember Sid now? Oh, I'm sure he must. The old days seem to be the only thing he ever remembers. And even then, not that often. But if I do tell him, I'm sure it would upset him. And he probably wouldn't remember that you told him. No. And then what would you do? You have to tell him again the next time? Or if he mentions Sid? I, I just don't know what would be gained by it, Mum. Quite the opposite. But Sid was so important to Jack. I feel bad about keeping it from him. But if it's for his own good, huh? And yours. You don't want to keep upsetting yourself. I have been terribly upset by it. Oh, Mum. Sid was still a young man. Who was older than me. Well, from my perspective, that's young, dear. <laughs> and he was always keeping fit. Yeah. Doesn't seem to have done him much good in the end. No. He was actually going for a run when it happened, wasn't he? Ironic, isn't it? Just goes to show you can't fight your genes. I suppose not. Hope I've inherited yours, Mum. You're an example to us all. Oh, well, I don't know about that. Look, I tell you what. Rather than me run you back home, why don't you come and have some lunch at the Dower House first? Did you see that nice Patrick What's-His-Name around? No. Yeah, he's doing a survey of the wetland drainage system, counting the species and that. Right, so now it's in the heat treatment tank. We have to take it up to 95 degrees. Yeah. And once it's there, we've got to keep it there for exactly five minutes. Right. Oh, and there's a disc thing, you know, like a um, tachograph on a lorry. Mm -hmm. This is a thermograph, and it's a check that we've done it right. OK. And that thickens the yoghurt. But like I say, it's only for five minutes, then we have to bring it back down to the incubation temperature. Mm -hmm. Can you remember what that is? Oh, hold on. Um, 55. Ah, uh, uh, that's the homogenizer. Oh. Incubation is 40. I'm never going to get this. Ah, you'll soon pick it up, don't you oh, worry. Oh, do you think? Oh, it took me ages to get used to it. Mm. Now I reckon I can make yoghurt and mislead. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Don't be silly. Did you hear Brenda staying in Leicester in the week now? Oh, yeah. Tom's been round here most nights for his dinner, Pat says. Mm. He must be lonely without her. I don't know that it's good for a relationship being apart that much. Well, Alice and Christopher manage well enough. Yeah, I suppose so. Tom and Brenda will see plenty of each other at the weekend anyway because they're taking the burger van up to Brookfield. Oh, for the open day. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've seen their posters up. And Ruth did an A5 one for the phone box. You've probably seen the ones what Eddie's done for us too. Oh, yeah. But they're quite... Um, Garish. Well, I was going to say eye-catching. Yeah, yeah that's all right. <laughs> and he said refreshments. Yeah. Well, what will that be? Me doing cream teas. Oh. I've been baking scones all week. Because Neil wondered if Joe and Eddie would be flogging their cider. That's just so I wouldn't put it past them. <laughs> oh, I told them I don't want nothing to do with that. No. That's their lookout. Oh, no, fair enough. So anyway, once it's down to 40, then we put the cultures in. They come in little bottles. Let me show you. Are you sure you won't have a glass of wine, Mum? No, thanks. I'll have a little more salad, though. Oh, shall I? No, 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 I'll help myself. <sighs> so, we're in for a month of bad language. Pardon? The World Cup. It's England's first match on Saturday. Oh, yes. And Matt does get awfully hurt up when they're playing. You should have heard him go on about Rooney's metatarsal or whatever it was. I remember one visit was completely dominated by it. Well, at least he'll be able to watch the matches at home. Yeah. You know, I think I might check the schedule and see what Veronica's doing those days. While you were in the kitchen, I was thinking about what we were discussing earlier. Sid. 
I don't think I will tell Jack. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Mum. It might relieve me of the burden of a secret, but it wouldn't be fair on him. I think that's the right decision. He'd only have the hurt over and over again. But I thought I'd write to Fallon and Jolene to tell them how much Sid had meant to Jack. That's a lovely idea. I'll do it this afternoon. Hi, Puss. Afternoon, Peggy. <sighs> afternoon. Hello, darling. Now, how did it go with Asper? Are they happy to give us account facilities? Well, they seem fine, but there was a bit of a hitch. Really? That reference you got? Uh-huh. They hadn't received it. Oh. You did email it to them, did you? Of course. Or... Well, you're not sure? Ah, oh, well, that was the one I had to scan in, wasn't it? Because she hand-wrote it. She doesn't do technology. And I definitely scanned it in. Oh, now I think about it. Did I actually email it? Well, if you could get it after them. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do it straight away. Well, when I finish lunch, anyway. Yeah, and, and take Mum back. Good. Oh, no, no, no. And then I've got to get into Borchester for my mani pedi. <sighs> no, as soon as I get back from that. OK, uh, oh. I could do it. Oh, darling, if you wouldn't mind. Then we know it's done, don't we? Lovely. Look, you're going to join us? Uh, in a minute. There was something else. Could I have a quick word? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, excuse us, Mum. Oh, of course. I got a call on the way back from Bernard, the bloke who's handling the Marquis of Granby, sir. Oh, yeah, have we got it? Not yet. Oh. Someone else has put in a higher offer. Looks like we're in a bidding war. Well, how much higher? He reckon we'd have to go up by at least 20 to be in with a chance. Really? So what do you think? <sighs> I don't know. We're committed to the hillside houses now, aren't we? Yeah. And we wouldn't want to cut into the money we'd allow for the refurbishment. Especially for the pub. We'd have to be to a high standard. I know. Oh, I did like the place, though. Would have been a great property to have in our portfolio. In the old days, I'd have just said, go ahead. I know. It's not that simple. Worrying over a measly 20 grand. It's still early days, man. I know. We don't want to overreach ourselves before we've even started. No, no, you're right. OK, I'll look at some numbers and see what we can do. OK. Leave it with me. I'll make it work. Somehow. You sound a bit better. Do I? Oh, I suppose I'm getting used to it. That doesn't sound too weird. No, 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 so I know what you mean, Mum. And there has been some progress. Um, I've got a bit of news. Um, well, a couple of bits, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we had the result of the post-mortem earlier. Was it what they thought? Yeah, the coroner confirmed it was a heart attack. Oh, right. So, I mean, no surprise, Fallon, but... Well, it's... It's something to know for sure, you know. Better than the um, uncertainty. Heart attack. It would probably have been very sudden, they said. Well, that's good in a way, isn't it? Yeah. That's so hard for you, though. Well, for all of us. Anyway, um, the other thing about the funeral. Oh, loads of people have been asking about it. Well, Lucy and I talked about flying his body back, but in the end, we decided to have it here. I have the funeral... And then I can bring the ashes back. I, I see. So, we've been in touch with the funeral director, and it's going to be next Friday. It's a week today. You've booked it? 10 a.m. But what about... There are lots of people over here that would like to go to it. Um, if it was back here, I mean. Yeah, I know. But it'd be difficult for Lucy being pregnant. And she is his little girl. Yes. Mum, I'd really like to be there with you. I know, love. To support you. I'd like that too. If things was different, but... Someone's got to look after the pub. That's brilliant support, just to know that things are running smoothly. But it's not the same as being with you, though, is it? We can manage here. Honest. Um, is it all right to come in? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course not. Feel free. I had to go to the bank, so while I was passing, I thought I'd pop in and see how things are progressing. Uh, well, as you can see at the moment, they aren't. No. 
I expected it to be a hive of activity. Oh, well, has been for most of the week, but oh, one of the painters reckons he's sick and mm. one's gone for more supplies. And there's no sign of the chippy who's going to be putting the pictures oh. up, so um, I've been on the phone for half an hour chasing people. It is looking very promising, though, Kenton. Well, it looked promising on Monday. It needs to look more than promising now. I mean, we open a week today. You and Elizabeth are still coming, aren't you? Absolutely. Good. Yeah, I wouldn't miss it. Just hope they're still not decorating around us while we nibble the canapes. <laughs> no. What do you like with a paintbrush? Me? Hmm. Well, it's not my strongest suit. Yeah, no, no don't worry. I'm not that desperate. Not yet. <laughs> so, are these the pictures mm. for the walls, then? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to have a look? They're nice and big, aren't they? Well, want to make a statement, don't we? Do you? Yeah, you know, as, as soon as you walk in here, you think, I'm a sophisticated professional and I feel at home here. <laughs> there, what do you reckon? And that's what they have at home, is it? What do you mean? Sophisticated professionals. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Hmm. It's, uh, it's very abstract, isn't it? Yeah, well, do you like it? I don't think I'm really the one to ask. I start losing touch with art round about Matisse. Oh, well, Jim's much the same. I don't, you'll never believe the fight that I had to get these. <laughs> but I'm sure they're just right for here. Next Friday? Well, it'll be Thursday here, um, 11 in the evening. But why did they decide to have... The... I think Lucy had a lot to do with it. Oh, yes, I bet she did. Well, with Mum and Lucy being out there... But I... what about us? Well, all of us, I mean. I know. I so wish I could be there. But with the pub... Well, surely someone could stand in for you, Fallon. I, d I don't know. It would be very complicated. It's difficult to think who... Anyway, flying all the way to New Where's Zealand... Where's Jamie in all of this? He's the one that's close to Sid, not Lucy. Well, maybe we could have some sort of memorial service once Mum brings the ashes back. Well, that's hardly the same, is it? I'm sorry, Cathy, I'm just passing the information on. Oh, yeah, I, I know. It's not your fault. I, it's just a bit of a shock. Yeah, for me too. Patrick from the Wildlife Trust did a survey of our wetland system yesterday. Oh, yes. He was very thorough. He counted 31 wetland and aquatic species. Wow, that's impressive, Pat. Plus all our different varieties of willow, of course. And it is looking fabulous now. I thought Nigel might be interested. Mm, yeah, I'll mention it to him. We hope to get some interest at Open Farm Sunday. Oh, are you opening Bridge Farm? Uh, no, not exactly. We're just piggybacking on Brookfield's open day. Well, they're doing it in a big way again, aren't they? Yeah, we're going to bus people over to ours and show them the wetland system. I hope you get some takers. Yeah, I'm sure some will be interested. I've done a display board for Brookfield with a few photos and a bit of blurb. Oh. Hopefully that might tempt a few. Hello? Morning. Hi, Pip. Is Lorna around? Oh, she was in the orange room when I was delivering just now. What have you got there? <laughs> it's a thing called a map stick. A, a map stick? Oh, I've never heard of that. Or oh, they're sometimes called journey sticks. I thought Hayley might be interested for the school visits. Is this a college thing? No, it's for Open Farm Sunday for the guided tours. Oh, we were just talking about mm. that. The idea is when you go on a journey, you tie things onto the stick that remind you of where you've been. So, I've been round the farm. That's some wool from a barbed wire fence. Grass. From one of the silage fields. A couple of ears of wheat, a feather. Is that some black plastic? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there's enough of that on most farms. <laughs> Very characteristic, I'd say. Look, I'd better be off. Yeah, OK, thanks, Pat. Cathy's coming round soon. So, I I I'll see you. Bye. 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 Um, do you need me for anything, Pip? No, it was Hayley and Lorna. OK. Unless you'd know if I could do some more shifts. When? All this month, really. Uh, no, you'd need to speak to Lorna. Right. Um, Jude and I are going travelling, you see. Oh, really? When? Most of the summer holiday, all over Europe. Well, Spain, Italy, probably Greece, Ibiza. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a very cheap trip. It'll cost a lot of tips from the orangery. Yeah, that's why I want more hours. And what do your mum and dad think? Well... I haven't actually told them yet. Pip. I will, I will. When we're a bit more sorted. I 
can't not go, Pat. I understand. Jamie's in a terrible state, poor thing. I mean, he's got to say goodbye to his dad. If the funeral happens thousands of miles away without him, what chance is he going to have of doing that? It's a very important event. Of course you must go. We could book the tickets here, if you like. Oh, online? Mm. Shall we see what the prices are like? Oh, thank you, yes. Right. Um, I'll ring Kenton. Right, yes, here we are. Uh, when would you want to travel, do you think? Oh, um, I don't know. It's a very long flight, isn't it? Mm. This is Kenton. Uh, mm. Sorry you've lucked out. Uh, leave a message and I'll get back to you. Oh, Kenton, I need to talk to you about Sid's funeral. Um, can you ring me, please? It would be quite pricey for two of you. Three? Oh? Well, I need Kenton there. I mean, Jamie does too. Anyway, I don't care about the cost. I'll get a loan if I have to. Oh. Who are you ringing now? Jolene. We ought to let her know that we need to be included. I'll put her on speaker. So, I suppose it had better be from London, hadn't it? Oh, yes. To... Auckland. Auckland. That's three adults. Hello? Jolene. Hello. Um, it's Cathy. Oh, hello, Cathy. I'm at Pat's. Um, she's here now. Hello, Jolene. Hi, Pat. I'm so sorry. Thank you. It's such a shock. H how are you coping? Not bad, thanks. Um, Jolene, <laughs> Fallon's told me about the funeral. Oh, sorry. I was going to ring you tomorrow. I, I know it's not ideal. No, but... no, it's all right. Um, we're going to come over. To the funeral? Yes. I think it's really important that Jamie be there. And I want to be too. You think it's the right thing for Jamie? Definitely. Well, that's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you, Cathy. So, as far as I can see, she's planning to travel for several weeks. What, with Jude? Yes, with Jude. He's planning some kind of latter-day grand tour, all the hot spots of Europe. That sounds very nice. Yeah, but if she couldn't afford a week in a cottage in Cornwall, how on earth will she afford this? But the worst thing is, she hasn't told Ruth and David. Ah. And it's their fault. How do you make that out? Oh, it's exactly what I said, Nigel. I mean, you know how badly they've handled things since Jude came on the scene. And she's distancing herself from them. No, darling... Teenagers can be secretive. Not to the extent of planning a big trip and not breathing a word to your parents. So what are you going to do? Oh, I don't know. Have a word with them, maybe? No, I'm not sure that would help. I mean, look what happened when I tried to talk to David before. <laughs> you know you and David always rub each other up the wrong way. Yeah, because he just flies off the handle. I know, I know. But Ruth's a different kettle of fish. Why don't you talk to her? I really don't want to go behind Pip's back. It's her news to share, not mine. Well... I wouldn't worry too much. If you don't think she can raise the funds for the trip... Well, I don't see how she can, and not on what we pay her. So it's quite likely all these great plans will come to nothing anyway. What on earth did you think you were doing? Kenton... I, I can't believe that you booked the flights without consulting me. I tried to. Yeah, well, well, couldn't you have waited until I got back to you? Well, time what? was running out if we wanted to get a flight leaving Monday. Uh, what on earth makes you think that I can take ten days off at such short notice? It's a family bereavement. Well, Sid wasn't my family. What? Look, <clears throat> look, listen, it's just not practical, OK? Jax is opening next Friday. I know that. I just thought you'd want to support me and Jamie. Oh, well, naturally I would normally, but well, this is just impossible. And you could see Muriel while you're over there. You keep going on about visiting her. Yeah, I know. After the bar is up and running. Oh, your precious bar! Are you saying it's more important than us? No, it's not a question of that. I simply have to be there these next two weeks. There are plenty of people who could stand in for you. Oh, who? Kirsty? What? She hasn't even started working there yet. Well, Jim, then. What? Jim? All Jim does is pop in now and then and quibbles about the soft furnishings. Look, it is my project. I am the only one who knows everything about it. You could brief someone. No, no one else can do it. So are you saying that you're not coming with us? Oh, look, I can't come. I see. Well, if that's your attitude... Oh, it's not an attitude. Then Jamie and I will go to New Zealand on our own. 